A lot of people keep asking me if the free version of ChatGPT has some of the features of the paid version. For example, some of the custom GPTs that I made, can you use them on the free version of ChatGPT? And to be honest, I don't know. I've never even tried the free version. I've always had the paid plus version. So in this video, we're gonna go through both versions, ChatGPT plus and the free version. See, I got two tabs here. This is the plus and this is the free version. The free version is gonna be the dark, so we'll know the difference. And we're gonna find out together the major distinctions between both versions. Okay, the biggest thing I'm noticing right here is there's no custom GPTs in the left bar. All right, again, this is the free version. It's gonna be the dark screen. You just have new chat up here. So we can click new chat and it opens up a brand new chat but that's the only option we have. In the paid version, now you have all the custom GPTs that you've made and also the ones that you've used recently. So I made a video idea generator, a daily fitness coach, SEO Fox, a thumbnail imitator, video metadata AI, thumbnail maker, and then I tried to make sticker whiz a bit different. So in the plus version, you have these. You also have the explore tab and clicking this goes into a page where you can create a custom GPT. You can edit your previous ones. You can see your recently used, and all the ones made by OpenAI. In the free version, that doesn't exist. Next thing you have the menu up here, I'm gonna click this. You have one option for a model, and that's GPT 3.5 Turbo. In order to use GPT-4, and it says that it includes Dolly 3, Bing browsing, and more, you'll have to upgrade to plus. Back in the paid version, if I click the same menu, its default is GPT-4, and I get to choose if I wanna use GPT-3.5. And you're probably asking, why would anyone want to use 3.5 if you have four? Well, the clue is right here, limit 40 messages every three hours. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to overuse GPT-4, it's disappointing, there's been many times where I'm in the middle of work and I run out of messages and I have to switch to a worse model. I hope that changes someday, but for now there is a limit. Another thing I'm noticing is there's no attachment icon in the input box down here because GPT Vision is only available on GPT-4. And going back to the plus plan, you can see that option is right here. This attachment allows me to upload documents, pictures, PDFs, spreadsheets, anything that I want ChatGPT to analyze. You got an upgrade button here, which gives you the option to upgrade to plus. And again, what they say is you get access to GPT-4, you can browse the web and create with Dolly 3. And they're also saying additional tools, but these are all built in. Let's check out the settings, see if there's any differences there. I'm gonna click settings. It looks like there's two options. You can choose the theme, dark or light, and then some data controls. Back in the plus version, at settings, you also have an option for beta features, which gives you plugins and this advanced data analysis, and then your builder profile. When you create custom GPTs for the marketplace, this is how you'll get paid, and this is what is shown. I also noticed a difference in the menus. Obviously, you have your subscription plan. Here you can access your GPTs, which takes you to the Explore page. It's just a different link. And then we also got the custom instructions. I noticed the free version has custom instructions too. Because this is the first time I'm using this, it gives me a nice detail box and click OK. And with custom instructions, it could be a way for you to create custom GPTs on the free plan. But you'll have to save the custom instructions that work in a separate document to reuse later. So an example would be, let's say you were writing an article. I'd go in the bottom box and write step one you are given a keyword. Step two, write an article title for that keyword. Step three, write a five bullet point outline about that title. And step four, write the first paragraph about the first outline point. So using custom instructions, it's almost like I created my own custom GPT. Now the 3.5 model is not that good. So I'm wondering if it's going to work like it does with GPT-4. GPT-4 can really follow instructions I know ChatGPT 3.5 has trouble, but let's test it out. Let's say my keyword was email marketing. I'm gonna hit enter, and not bad. ChatGPT 3.5 was able to give me an article title, it wrote a nice outline, and it also started the introductory paragraph. So this would be perfect. If I liked the output, I'd get this custom instruction, I would copy it, I'd paste it into a new document, and I would name this Article Generator GPT. And now whenever I wanted to use this, I'd copy this, go to the free version of ChatGPT and paste it in. Now I have my own custom GPT for the free version. Now there's a button in the top right and clicking that shares a link to the chat. This is the same as the plus version. I can copy link. Let's open up a new window, paste this in and other people with your link 
can see the result of your conversation. All right, those are the major differences between the free version and the pro version. I'm a sucker for the pro version. I use ChatGPT every day, so might as well spend on something that makes me so much more productive. But it's cool that in this video, we found that there's a way to get by on the free version. Just gonna take a little more work. So for those that don't have that option, I hope I provided you with a usable alternative. Peace.